This is Camp Kennan. Hey, what's going on? Kennan here, and today's bonus video comes to you from inside Slinky's abode. But it's not about Slinky, actually. It's about the red-bellied side neck turtle, or Emidura subligosa. Now, I gotta be honest here, guys. I haven't made the, the most perfect habitat for them, and, and the reason being is I've got you know their pond which i'm cleaning by the way there's the fly river i'm cleaning out their water but um basically what's going on here is it's egg laying season for this species and i came in here and i saw this gal she was digging a nest okay which i'm going to show you in a moment but now she's trying she was actually all the way up here trying to get back in so she's smart enough to know that the, the water's over here but this was where she wanted to lay her eggs uh and it's also I'm gonna put her back in, let's put her back in, but here she is. How cool is this? She just laid eggs, I'm gonna show you those eggs, show you what they look like. Um, but I need to figure out a few things with these turtles because obviously they lay eggs. What do monitors eat? They eat eggs. And you can see Slinky likes to dig. So it would only be just a matter of time before Slinky wound up eating these eggs. So I'm gonna to have to do some serious work here. And I, I originally created this pond, right? And I tried to make it, let's slide them back in. Uh, I tried to make it to where they can't get out, but obviously they can climb a bit, the pink bellies. So I wanted to uh, have this area right here as an egg laying area for them. Problem is, oh look, there's a turtle in there. There's a turtle right there. The problem is, is that Slinky gets in here. Look what he does, he digs all over and he winds up digging out their thing. So this, this is another female. Yeah, this is a female, this is egg laying season, man. I'm glad I'm figuring this out. I'm gonna have to do some work. Put that back in there. Um, I'm gonna have to do some work, like seriously, because I might have to move the pink bellies out of here so that they can lay their eggs in peace without having their eggs be eaten. It's a lot of work. Let's check those eggs though. Let's check it out. All right, so I noticed you're digging right here and look at this, if I can see that, a very smart monitor can see it. Look, dry, 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 and moist soil. So let's see. Now the funny thing about these, uh, and look at all the fire ants already. Um, the funny thing about these guys is they do not lay their eggs too deep. Look at this, watch this. Look at this, look. Oh, wait, is it there? Here we go, I got eggs. We got your eggs. You gotta be gentle. See that? These are elliptical eggs. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. There's one. See how many she laid. There's two. Oh, I feel at least four. At least four in here. And they, they make such a tight little um, nest that you have to be careful when you dig out around it. And it's amazing that she had that many eggs in there. Let's pull this open. This is fun though. These are great little uh, baby turtles to have hatch out. I love them. Oh my gosh, there's five eggs I feel. And you just gotta carefully dig around so that we don't crack an egg when we remove it. They have a um, kind of a porcelain shell, but it is pliable. It's almost in between a leathery shell and a porcelain shell. But uh, you don't wanna crack it, that's for sure. She really stuck that one in there good, man. All right, we got that one out, see? There's four, and there is a fifth weight down in there. Gonna get it. It's kind of fun. I love digging up turtle eggs. Here we go. All right, there they are. There's all of them. I'll cover that back up. And we know that they were just laid, so I'm not worried at all about, I'm not worried at all about this as far as rotating. Now let's go set up the, um, we're gonna set up their incubation thing and I'll show you how I do that with turtle eggs because we know turtle eggs are going to take a little bit higher humidity so uh, let's go get that accomplished and uh, this would be a good time for my buddy Tom who I'm going to send this to kind of fast forward because I'm not stopping and starting again we're going to roll right through this whole episode this bonus episode and uh, you're coming with me you're going to see the whole process here we go there is Solomon. All right, listen, my house is messy, okay? I didn't, I didn't know I was gonna have company, so please don't judge me. I got boxes everywhere. I'm, I'm a single dude, 
and uh, I don't need to clean every day, but we're in, we're in here. What we're gonna do is, what I'm gonna do is set you guys up in the studio, like so. Oh, get a text message, gotta like that. Hang tight there, people. Ah, oh, wanna say hello to some new soaking sulcatas. Little baby sulcata soaking right now, that's awesome. Gonna place these eggs down gently. Then I'm gonna go grab one of my deli cups here. I like these uh, for the subligosas. This is what I ship the tortoises in, but you can also do a little egg incubation. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get some vermiculite, which is in my garage. Come with me. <laughs> Again, didn't know it's gonna accompany, so don't, uh, it's a little messy right now. There's a cat litter box in here, but the garage is empty, the vehicle's not in it. Uh, I got bikes everywhere. Holy smokes. I'm running low on a vermiculite. Let's set you guys up right like this on the tripod. There you go. All right, so I'm gonna get the vermiculite, and uh, I'm gonna put the vermiculite, a little bit of this, in this cup and what I'm gonna do is is moisten the vermiculite in the sink that I have over here which is right over here which is again you guessed it it's messy um, so you guys go right there pull it right here I got a lot of bikes which you can which you would assume since I am a professional bike rider or was at one point so I'm just gonna do a little bit of water. I kind of have been doing this on feel these days, you know, since I'm, uh, I kind of know what they like, so I'm mixing it up. You want it to clump together, but you don't want water to squeeze on out of it. So you mix it as best you can, just like this. Somebody really wants to talk to me on text. They're gonna have to wait though, because I'm hanging with my friends out there in YouTube world, a little bit wetter I want it. All right, so now we got that, right? We got this going. So we come back, we go back inside and we're gonna place the eggs inside this container. Uh-huh. How are you going today? Oh, it's a little dark, there we go. Uh, hope everyone's doing good. Um, don't forget if you're interested in helping out the channel, you can always order a Camp Kennan t-shirt but now back to the process so here we have our eggs right and I'm gonna go ahead and put these guys in a little bit more buried than I would a tortoise egg because these guys like it a little bit more moist so that's what we're doing putting them right in here gently push them in gently gently right like that okay we're gonna cover it and we're gonna just put it right in the incubator. Here's the baiter. Incubator. All right, they'll hang out here. I'll check up on them and make sure they're doing well. We got a lot happening. It's always fun in the incubator for people. All right, there you have it. That's my uh, bonus video for you today. I gotta get back to cleaning that pond out. Make sure it's all clean and happy for our good buddy, uh, Slinky and the rest of uh, the pond's inhabitants. So everyone, have a fantastic Sunday. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to click and subscribe. There's always gonna be a video coming out for you guys to watch. And uh, wow, yeah, just in a great mood. Got some eggs, man. Life is good, people. I'll be talking to you soon. Uh, I've been rambling on for too long now. Like, subscribe, write a comment. I'll get to answering it, I promise. Uh, join me on Instagram and Facebook. See you later.